guys, welcome to my channel. And today I will be teaching you, yes, you on how to install the Gobi LED interior car light. As you guys may know or may not know, I love these brands and huge shout out to Gobi for sending this out to me. So if you guys are interested, link will be down below. And um, yeah, let's hop into the video. All right guys, so what do you guys need before installing? So you guys need alcohol and towel, right? So the alcohol it is just for cleaning and then the towel is just for wiping off the alcohol because the LED strips, it does come with 3M tape. So it'll stick way better if you clean it with alcohol. So what comes inside is your LED strip lights, your zip ties, your controller, your nuts and bolts if you guys are planning to screw it and then your user manual. So this is pretty much everything inside the box. So what I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna install it on my Mazda Miata. Even though it's a two seater, you can still do it too. So what you wanna do first, it is to plug in the secret lighter first before you install everything because in case if it don't work, you will just waste your time on installing this and it don't even work. All right, so I just plugged it in so it does work. So time to install it. So after you're done testing it, so there's four of these LED strips. So two is gonna be on that side over there on the driver's side and then two is gonna be over here on the passenger side. So on most cards, I believe that they do have like a little hole in like the center console right here. You just gotta find that hole and then like just kinda like force it in and then you gotta go to the driver's side and then pull it out. So technically I'll come over here and show you guys. So we're on the driver's side now. So as you guys can see, it's kind of dark, but I got it off from this little hole up here. Like you just gotta find it. So if your car is not a Mazda Miata, but I do believe that a lot of cars, they do have like a hole up there that comes from the other side. So after you do it, just pull it out and then your strips should be coming out. So there's one over here and then one right here on the driver's side. So to mount them, so technically you can mount them anywhere you want. If you have back seat, it will be way easier. But if you have a, a two-door like mine, you can either mount it like right here or you can either mount it like right here on the center console. I will probably mount it right here because right here it is pretty tight. So I already finished putting the LED strip to where I want. So I put it right here on the door next to the door where the passenger seat is at. And then I just tucked in these wires down here. So I kind of just lift it up and then just tucked in the wire. And then it goes down all the way over here to down to here. And then the other LED strip is right here. And then I mount the, the sensor right here. So technically this is the sensor. So if you're putting on music, this can sense like your, your music. So it go to like music mode. And then I just kind of tucked in this wire down here on the panel. So you guys can also do it too. So it'll look like flush. So there's no wire in here. So for a tip, just tuck in the wire like underneath the panel. Don't be afraid or scared to break anything. Most likely you're not, it just clips. So like right now, as you guys can see, like it is flashing because it is sensing my voice. So technically you can also connect it with your phone. So as you guys can see, Govi do provide you with the controller. So technically you can turn it off and then turn it back on same thing. And then you can put it to music mode, which is right here. You can change the brightness. So technically this is a good controller, but you can also connect it with your phone, which I'll show you right now too. So as you guys can see from the phone, you can put it to like anything like yellow, orange, red. And then you can also put the brightness to like hello low like this. And then also put it like super bright like this. And then you can put on music, which it will sense your music. And then you can also put it to like DIY or like color scenes and everything. So Govi is a very good car interior light. So yeah, and I truly recommend it too. If you guys are interested, link will be down below. So right now I'm gonna put on some music and see if it flashes or not.
All right guys, so that will be the end of this install and shout out to Goldie for sending me this awesome car LED light. If you guys are interested, I'll link the link down below. I do recommend it 10 out of 10. One of the pros and cons is that the pros, you can change the lighting to low and bright. So that's one of the pro, which I like a lot. And also another pro is that like, it has the music option, which the LED light will go with the flow as your beat. So that is also one thing. And then the cons, there's no cons at all. Like just go cop it for the price. It's pretty good. And then it's pretty like durable too. Like it's probably one of the best LED car lights in the market right now. So if you guys have any questions at all about the install or anything, just make sure to comment down below or DM me on Instagram which I am mostly active on Instagram. Like one time, one of the subscribers did call me and to like tell him like how to install it, which I did. Anyways, if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button and check out my channel. You know, if you guys like any of my content, consider subscribing. And guess what guys, I just bought a brand new 2022 Mazda Miata. So if you guys are interested in this car that I just installed it on, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? More content for the Mazda Miata will be coming out soon. So make sure to stay tuned on that. Anyways, I hope you guys do well. I'll catch you guys on another video. So dream big and peace.